Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So another build completed, this time it's the Roden 172nd scale four wheel drive model B three ton lorry. Um, I looked this up on Wikipedia, the actual company, and it was a really interesting read. Um, apparently uh, some representatives of the British Army went and had a look at <coughs> the, the, the lorry and um, go through to Pacey's and uh, they were the first to uh, military um, body to actually purchase this vehicle because they saw the potential for it. Um, this was in 1915, so the war had been going on in Europe for um, a year or nearly two years. And uh, and they bought, I don't know if they bought something like 4,000 or something. So you can finish this as a British um, War Department vehicle or you can put some um, um, US decals on it. Um, I think it just has US and then a, a reference number, uh, possibly a vehicle reference number. Really enjoy putting this together. Uh, no real fit issues. Some of the detail is a bit soft perhaps, but um, apart from that, uh, it, was, it was just a, a bit of fun and I will happily build it again. Um, it, it's a small model, but uh, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Now I'm going to show you on um, a dio that it, the dio is not for this vehicle. The dio was the one I created for the Whippy, and I'm actually in the middle of constructing the dio for this vehicle. <clears throat> and in fact, the, the next video you should, you'll see is a video of um, what materials I used, and then the actual finished construction, but not anything to do with the painting or weathering. So I'll get the kit and we'll have a look at it together. So here it is guys, um, <clears throat> as I say I finished it as a British vehicle and that's why it's got a uh, war department on there and the um, war department arrow in the middle of the W and D. Um, I've painted this in the um, British Olive Drab 4445 but then I put some yellow in that to, to lighten it and then I did quite a heavy dry brush to try and make it a, a different green to, to the one that it initially started with. Looking at some <clears throat> pictures of this and um, surviving uh, vehicles, the, the lamps on the front weren't finished in brass, um, they were finished in the, the camo green. Um, so, you know, it was all over green basically apart from the seats. I've still got to weather this. Um, what I want to do is weather it in line with the the dio that I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> if, you know, that I'm sure you understand that makes sense. I don't want to put mud on it if I'm going to put it uh, on a different type of dio. So that's basically it. Um, I'm really enjoying the hobby again at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying World War One model kits and that kind of period in uh, in history so the next time you see this build it will be on its own diorama i just want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel um really appreciate your support um and thank you for uh, for subscribing and i'm hoping that uh, what i do on the channel is something that you like and also to my old hands who um, stick with me and support me and comment and just encourage me. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks ever so much. It's uh, Saturday night, about 7 o'clock here, so um, I've been out most of the day. So I'm hoping to crack on with... Um, I've got to do the other video, obviously, but I'm hoping to crack on with some hobby in there. So thanks ever so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Look after yourselves and I'll catch you in a bit.